Girl, it's not over yet, honey. Jasmine, yes, remember that story happened at Opera Atlanta, MLK weekend, okay? It was for her birthday. She came out and she got raped on a dance floor. The R words, you know, I really don't like using like harsh words like that, but guess what? We got some more updates, okay? Yes, we have some more updates. Uh, Jasmine, she's going after Opera Club, and I feel like as she should, because you know why? You know, you wanna know why? Girl, allegedly, this is not the first time that this happened at this club. They say this crowd, this club, it happens kind of often. So yeah, I think it's about time they uh they did some shit. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to talk about all that. I'm going to show you all the receipts. Make sure you guys like the video, share the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Gossip Girl, XOXO. You know you love me. All right? So without further ado, give me a second. Pop it up. Okay, bam. We are here. As you guys can see, reminisces. This is the man, Dominic. You know, he's six foot four. And he was taking advantage of this girl, drugged her allegedly on the dance floor. Um, so we're going to go to this next one right here. As you guys can see, I'm going to read. <laughs> Alleged rape victim Jasmine broke down in tears while her attorney showed a video. I've never seen it. It showed the suspect carrying, it showed Dominique carrying her off the dance floor to a back room where he alleged assaulted her. So much new information. Watch my story. Girl, see, they got video of him taking Jasmine in the back room. Remember, everybody talking about she, he ain't take her there. Remember, allegedly, honey, they said that Dominique was paying girls to talk bad about Jasmine and come after Jasmine as if she's lying and making everything up, right? Ain't a shame. So, all right, so we you're not going to be able to hear it, but you're going to see that's Jasmine breaking down. They're playing the video. So I'm just going to be quiet for a moment so you guys can really get in. You see she breaking down. She can't take it. You see that new video footage up there they're playing? Oh, yeah, they're coming for opera. They coming for that club as they should. They need to have more security at these clubs. There'd be too much illegal stuff going on at these damn clubs in Atlanta. And it's a damn shame. They're making all this money, but they can't secure the venue better. Anyhow, uh, this is the man, Dominic. Okay. Um, so we're going to go right here. Okay. This is opera. This is club opera, the big club. Everybody love to party at. They said at this time, we have met with the Atlanta Police Department and have provided them everything they have requested, okay? We will continue to aid and support the investigation in any way we can. We have been asked to defer any further questions to Atlanta the Police Department Affairs Unit, Opera Atlanta Management. Girl... Wasn't that something? So what do you guys think about that? You know what I think about it? I feel like this. Jasmine, my heart is with you. My prayers are for you. And I'm so happy that you spoke out despite everybody telling you you're lying while you do that. You're just trying to drag another black man down. It is so many men out here that is taking advantage of girls, you know, they feel like they can just talk to you any type of way and do what they want to do to you. And so many of us are afraid to speak out. You know, we don't want to go through the hassle. You know, we just wish this man would just leave us alone. Okay? Shit. <laughs> I'm talking. I just had a. I, I just. Had, I ain't going to say nothing because I hope he ain't looking here. But I had. Let me. Mm, okay. So I'm so happy that she's brave enough to continue the fight with this because she should she could have given up and said, you know what, I'm not going to continue this investigation. It's too much. It's, it, people do that, you know. But to seek justice, she is fighting. She is not fighting for herself. She's fighting for so many people. The the girls that he's going to do this in the future, 
And the girls, he did it to in the past because, like I said, it's been numerous girls that they hit me up in my DM and they told me that, you know what, he did the same thing to them. He drugged them and had sexual relationship with them without them knowing because they was knocked out out of the drugs that he gave them. And they said they afraid he start threatening their family and their kids. So, like I said, there's so many that are afraid to speak out. You know, these guys would tell you, I got a gun. You know, I threaten you. I've been threatened on several occasions. I don't put my business not on them motherfucker. But I'm just saying that to just say I can relate. I understand. And I feel like she is just so brave for continue to speaking out on this subject and going to a police authorities and um, being patient with the police authorities. I know. I, I just can only imagine. You know, it... it it's a process. You have to keep reliving it. And it's a it's it's sad in one way. It's like, wow, why do I have to keep looking at this? Why do I have to keep being reminded of this nightmare? I don't want to relieve live it. I just want justice and go on. But I guess to convict somebody, you have to go through all this hassle. And um a lot of people are not able to continue to relive that nightmare, to continue to talk about it, to continue to have people badgering you and bullying you about you just speaking your truth, you know? So my heart goes with her. So make sure you guys comment. Let us know what you guys think about this. And I also feel like it's a sent awareness to other guys that are thinking about doing something like this. You know, I'm sure they probably looking at the situation like, well, shit, I'm just going to make sure the bitch don't got no camera. I don't make, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times these guys are bold. They know cameras around and they're so used to doing this to girls. And majority of these girls don't speak out and they don't say much. And I'm not here to fault these girls because, okay, I'd be a fucking hypocrite. So, um... I'm happy that Jasmine and other girls like her is just brave enough to speak out and to take it to authorities to get justice, okay? Yeah, because these are predators. They're going to continue to prey on the weak, the innocent, the ones that are, you know, don't want to go through all that hassle and, and telling the police and stuff like that. Anyway, comment. Let us know what you guys think about this. Don't forget to subscribe to Gossip Girl. XOXO. You know you love me.